Hi, Brian. Hey, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Brian. How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit. I'm a bit cold. It shouldn't be like this in the early early May, but it's a bit nippy out. No, no, I'm not sure it's quite summer, even though we said it was a couple of days ago. <laughs> we did, we did. And you've been dancing. You've been out dancing properly in the United yes. States and the well, like. Yes, well, it was a rather exciting um, little project we got involved in to celebrate May Day virtually um, in conjunction with uh, the community orchard of Bridport. Uh, so we were pleased to be so able was, to be part of something. So that must have been great fun. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to share this video. Our first dance this afternoon is Webberley Jig, which is from the village of Bampton in Oxfordshire. Okay. So... This is our first dance of 2021. Um, not really in public, although we are outside and we're all kitted up, but we're really um, socially distancing um, and doing all the things that we're supposed to be doing to follow the guidelines um, from the Morris Federation, uh, apart from our own government, um, for safe practicing. Um, so we were only six, um, four dancers, one musician, and Rob Jane, who was doing the filming. Um, this was, it was really quite exhausting. <laughs> um, a little bit of nervous energy from all of us. We had a couple of false starts. And... Uh, Yes, it was funny how um, we all felt quite nervous, even though there was no audience. Um, it felt an important occasion. Uh, and I hope you like the kit, Brian. Um, oh, the kit. When I saw that, because I've never seen, well, I'm obviously wearing one of the Wacos. That, so that was it. Let me just, um, let me just close that, that now. So, yeah, so I've obviously seen the kit before, but let me just um, close down that. Um, but yeah, and but the hankies were absolutely fantastic. Yes. And Brani did say, she explained the reason, Brani, uh, Ruth did, Ruth did say, about the different colours, how it draw attention and the like. And when I saw that, I thought, oh yes, that's so true. Um, so that's, that's, that, that is that's, true. So can you can you say something about that particular event? It was um, where was it and what what was it put together for? Well, it was put together this uh, little bit of film for uh, inclusion in the May Fest video um, being put out by Rob Jane, uh, really for the Bridport Community Orchard, um, for a, a May festival, if you like. And because we're rather integrally um, uh, bound to the orchard, since I think it almost its um, conception, not quite, but not far off, um, I think we feel very much, you know, we're part and parcel of the orchard and all its celebrations we're always there for both uh their apple day and their wassail day to so um, celebrate okay. uh, the harvest of the apples and uh the making of cider so this was um, one of the photos from when her last dance at, at their event which was january i think 2019 when it was an absolutely fantastic fantastic day and I think there are eight dancers we can see there and about three musicians. So that was a fantastic uh, day. What, what day was that again? Uh, uh, that I couldn't tell you the exact date, but it would have been January, um, probably around the 10th, 12th, yeah. something yeah. like that. And what was it um, celebrating? Was, uh, the Wassail. So this is, um, this is the, the festival that we go around and bless the apple trees. So... It's, it's a really funny little ceremony and um, the apple trees get blessed so that the harvest is wonderful 
to make wonderful apple juice and cider in the autumn. And uh, it's, there's quite a little um, ceremony around the blessing of the trees and you have to have a, I can't remember what they call the little figure who is gets chosen to yes. go around and be at the pinnacle of the whole event. But um, yes, we give the, the, we pour old last year's cider on the apple trees at the roots and we give them toast, um, which we put in the branches to help feed them at this lean time of year for uh, nutrients, I suppose, in the soil. And, uh, and then nature has to do the rest. Okay, so we have two events uh, with the community orchard there. We have the, the, the wassail day and the apple day, is it? And what, what apple time day. is it? Apple day is in October. And um, yes, I think we were very, f I really think we were at their first celebration of apple day. Um, we knew one of the ladies, and I, ooh, I'm going to say her name, but I'm not going to because I might get it wrong. Um, anyway, she knew Vince probably, <laughs> um, and because Vince was, uh, or Ruth, being our main contact in Bridport, and she thought it'd be a wonderful idea to have Morris dancers um, on that first community uh, orchard apple day, and it was it was very successful, and we've been there ever since. I was a bit sniffy about it at first because I didn't want to dance on grass. But my goodness, how I've had to change my tune on that one. <laughs> we've danced on grass probably more than we've danced on a hard surface since. So, yeah. yeah, we're used to it now. OK, well, that's quite interesting, the history. And it's quite appropriate because it's our 10th anniversary um, yes. this, this year. Um, so it was 10 years to the 1st of May when we performed in public for the first time. Um, and so it I've was. got an interest in looking back at some of the old memories and old photos. And I've actually, Ooh, how lovely. I've actually got something I'd like you to share with you. And if you could tell me something about it. This was the, the oldest photo that I could find, which was the 1st of May, 2012. And I think you told me this was the first time um, while Morris danced out at dawn on the 1st of May. Yes. Yes, and I think probably it's very dark for two reasons. Um, possibly because I insisted everybody got up to the um, top of Stone Barrow by five o'clock um, to be ready for the dawn. To find the dawn doesn't really quite do it uh, <laughs> at five o'clock. So we did start dancing in the near darkness. But having said that, the other reason why it's so dark is it was a blooming awful morning and you can see it's looking it. rainy and um, I think we were getting pretty wet I would remember if I remember rightly so yes it was the first time a May day dawn and I'm amazed looking at this that I managed to get anybody to do it again the following year so have we danced out every year since then yes other than last year okay. um every yeah. year Every and um, and really, we got quite an audience there um, that are come, have been coming up over the years now. Um, and now this is the Five Bells, which um, we come down from the top of Stone Barrow in Charmouth down to Whitchurch Canonicorum to the Five Bells, because Pat, our lovely landlady there, gives us breakfast and she puts on a great show for us. Um, and we consequently dance for our breakfast there which we're doing in quite good formation this if yes. you think yes. this is very early days for us as you you know and um still on our blue jeans and um i think when you think of this lot here none of any of the people there were dancers before they joined the morris um i don't think anyone had danced before other than perhaps barn dancing or... Apart um, from you, hadn't you danced? Apart from me, apart yeah. from me. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so, so the fact that we're looking pretty together mm. um, is very nice to see on one of the earliest photos, probably better then than it is now, actually. <laughs> oh, did I say that? I'm sorry, <laughs> I just dropped that bit. <laughs> no. But something to aspire to. 
Well, absolutely. I think you, you were alluding to that about the, how difficult it was when you danced the other week after not properly practicing for quite some time. So yeah, I know. yeah. we've got a lot of catching up to do. We have indeed, but we have, we've got to practice tomorrow night, haven't we? We have, lovely, over at Moncton Wild. So yes. assuming the weather's going to be okay, Hopefully, that'll be lovely yeah. to be there. Cross, cross mm. our fingers. So that's, that's kind of interesting. So I'd quite like to be able to find some more information about our early days. I've managed to get the program for the season for every year from 2014 um, since then, but it would be nice to find some information for, for uh, 2013, um, yes. 12, uh, and our on our first year, so, and also. I photos. think I can probably. I think I can probably give you something. Yes, that I've got a few little bits put aside for Brian. Yeah, I was. I was <laughs> Not thinking. Much. Thinking, yeah. Now I was thinking it might be nice if we could produce something tangible about our history for our proper 10th anniversary celebrations, which will take place in August during the Bridport Folk great. Festivals. It would be great, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there may be more photos out there in, you know, people's pockets or on their computers that, you know, we could collate. Um, the person that I always think of is Glenis, used to be a great one for photographs oh, right. when she was dancing with us. So perhaps we ought to ask her if she's oh, got yeah. some some old photos she could share. Yeah, and that's good, that's good. Um, you mentioned the, the, the video at, at the start and that was produced by Rob Jane. So he's producing the documentary for Wild Morris. I should just, just say that his video was fantastic. Of course, it was a bit jerky when I was showing it on, on YouTube just now. That was a, a problem with, with my bandwidth. You weren't actually dancing, <laughs> you know, in- No, we were more fluid than that. It was a bit more fluid than that. But what I thought I'd like to do is just to uh, go, go out on another dance that was performed um, at these celebrations. So if you could just talk us one through this final one for one minute, 40 seconds. Okay. Well, I, this is going to be our, one of our favorites. Sorry, I failed to share it. <laughs> That's okay. So, journeyman, and as you can see, we're using our new hankies to great effect, pairing up with <laughs> the same colours on the opposite side. Ah. And this is such a favourite dance of ours, and an obvious one to dance this year, where, because it is a dance for only four people. We've been um, modifying a lot of dances for less people during this lockdown, but now this is a dance that's in its entirety. Um, it's a great favourite of most of ours, I think. Quite intricate in footwork, as you can see, we still make the odd mistake, <laughs> but uh, it always brings a smile to audiences' faces, I find. Although, as, it's a bit you different. Say, as, as you say, there wasn't really an audience when we were dancing there. No, no, we were not encouraging people to watch, of course. Um, and we were well away from the general public overall. As you can see, there's nobody nearby. So it was, it was a wonderful opportunity, actually, to be outside, um, be in kit and just test the waters. Lovely picture of Jane. And Christine is Catherine. <laughs> yes. Um, it'll, be, it'll be quite interesting in, um, uh, in the future when we were showing these in for our, maybe our 20th anniversary and people will be wondering why there was no audience there at all and why we were so pleased that there was no audience there. <laughs> we might be pleased of that all year i feel <laughs> not really well well thank you for, for that it was really good that you managed to get out and and i think it enthused us all by seeing how lovely that kit was and i think we are looking forward to resuming our socially distanced practices tomorrow night 
and for the next few few weeks and then with looking forward to dancing Brilliant. out properly in the summer indeed brian won't it be good it will so thank you it for really that. will thanks thank lot, you Brian. thanks for the opportunity to put my oar in again is that all right <laughs>